Hi everyone, I'm Allie with Pajamic Beads, and in this Better Beater episode, we are going to go over numbering and the number system and what the numbers and the colors mean when it comes to seed beads. So this is going to touch on Mayuki seed beads, on Toho seed beads, and on some Czech seed beads as well. When referring to the colors and the names of the seed beads, some manufacturers are going to stay consistent with the numbers and some styles stay consistent. However, the name of a Toho bead, which might be the exact same color as the name of a Mayuki bead, is not going to be the exact same color or name so they don't always line up sometimes people will change the name Miyuki and Toho both have suggested names but it always doesn't follow to that suit we've even noticed from some of our manufacturers as well as some of the people that carry the different beads that they're gonna have different names associated with different color numbers when you're looking for specific beads to use or specific beads to have, you're always going to want to look at that color number more so than the name, because the name, again, can change from different supplier to different supplier. So always keep in mind that it's the number that you wanna look for. The numbering system is very, very popular and very detailed when it comes to Toho Treasures or Mayuki Delicas. Mayuki even has a chart on their website, we'll put a link below, two conversions if you're looking for a Delica, what the appropriate 11-0 size is or vice versa, because they don't use the same numbering system. Now, kind of going over and taking a look at, I have a bunch of different seed beads on my board here. And looking at the different beads, we'll start with white. So I have a number of different seed beads here, kind of looking at white and black beads. And we'll go over the different numbers and kind of what those mean as well. So looking at the different beads here, we have white and black beads. When it comes to delicas, delicas are going to be different numbers and different numbering system than the regular Mayuki seed beads. The regular Mayuki seed beads are going to have a number that is going to be based on the size or the shape and then dash a color number. For example, when it comes to black seed beads here in Mayuki, it's going to be 15 for the size 15, and then 401 is gonna be the color number. When I pick up the 401 in an 110 seed bead, it's going to be the exact same color. Instead of being 15 dash, it's going to be 11 dash 401 as the alternate lookup. We have on our website that you can actually search by that number or you can search by the name as well. So if I'm looking for a 15 or an 11 or an eight or a six that match in that black color, it's always going to be that 401 number. When it comes to Delicas, it's actually not 401. Delicas have their own numbering system, even though it's the exact same color gloss. It's because of the manufacturing and kind of where it started out on the actual list. So Delica is usually referred to, instead of the size, as DB. And then it's usually a four digit number. Some suppliers will use three digits and knock off an extra zero if there's more or there's less than that number. Some will not use any zeros and just use the digit. We make sure for searching purposes that we always use four digits. So the number in the black is DB0010. Some suppliers or some providers may just have it as DB10. Always add in if you're searching and looking for two zeros at the front, one zero at the front if you see a digit or a number that is shorter than four digits. Miyuki numbers theirs with the four digits and the zeros at the front, so we stick and stay standard to that. Same if you go for white, you may see the white is 402 here, and the white is going to be 402 in an 11 -0. And as well in the drop beads, the drop bead is gonna be DP in the Miyuki brand 402. So I know the 402 is that white color, it's gonna match exactly. In the Delica bead, it is DB0200. So when I look at the Delica bead again, it's gonna be that same exact color, but the number is going to be different. There's also different references when it comes to different styles of the beads. So not only do you have black beads in the 401, you might have matte black. For Miyuki and also for Toho, most of them use an F after for matte. The F is going to count for or stand for frosted or matte. When you get frosted and you get a rainbow finish, you get FR. So this 11 here is going to be 401 FR, which is going to be both frosted and rainbow. Sometimes you'll see an R that follows. Sometimes you'll see an L, which is going to be meaning light. So it has the light LT and the number is going to have that L for light. You also will see an R sometimes for rainbow. 
and you'll see additionally some of the uh, letters of S, which is gonna stand for silver lined, and again, that FR, D for dark, L for light, and those are sometimes used after the color number. So you know that this is going to be the same as transparent red AB, but it's gonna be the light version. So it has an L there when you're looking for the numbers and kind of distinguishing. For Mayuki, the seed bead colors that they use, they use across the board. So even here in their rectangles, it's gonna be the black 401. So you just need to know REC 49 is gonna be their first alternate lookup, and then 401. Their sharp triangles, STR, sharp triangle, 10, size 10, 401F. So this is a matte black. So across the board, Mayuki is really good about sticking with their color numbers, except for that Delica. That's why on their website, they have that nice conversion chart to go from color numbers in the Delica beads to the 110C beads. The more unique the bead or the less desirable the size of the bead, Miyuki doesn't do as many colors in that color range. So the same with Choho too. The brands, the more popular sizes, the most are going to be produced in that color range. So you may have a bead that's available in 110 that they don't manufacture in a 150 or they don't make in a 160 because they go based on the popularity and 110s are gonna be the most popular, followed by 15s, followed by eights. Generally the eights and the 15 are in competition. But generally speaking, those beads as you get away from size 11 C bead your selection and color is going to get smaller and smaller so you may have an 11 dash 457 L that's not going to be available in the 8 or the 6 because they don't manufacture that color yet they're always constantly adding new colors in addition to that you want to think about some of the exact same colors again here's the Duracoat opaque sea opal, one of their new colors. Here it is in the 15 and the 11. Both of them are going to be 4475. Exact same color in the Delica is going to be 2125. Had to look a little closer there for. So again, check out that conversion chart that they have on that as well. Just like the Miyuki brand, when you're looking at Toho, the same number is gonna be used across the different sizes and some of the shapes. So TR is what Toho uses for a Toho round or a seed bead. So instead of just having that 15 dash, Toho throws in that little TR at the start. You wanna keep in mind too, these are gonna to be different than our item numbers. Most people that you're getting from or selling from, their computer system or their inventory management system isn't gonna allow them to use that full number. That's why we add it in the description and we have it available to look up. But really we have item numbers that are going to be used in addition to that. So if you're looking for say an 110 in black in Mayuki, it is 70361 our number, but it still can be searched for that 11-401. When it comes to the Toho brand then also, they have that TR, so that Toho round, and it is going to be 15, just like the size of the Mayuki. And then the one that I did add and brought back here was the PF. So PF, um, Toho also has their little um, L's and their F's for mats, but the PF is unique to Toho. That's gonna be their perma finish. Kind of like the Duracoat of Mayuki, but Mayuki doesn't have a numbering system for that. They just go into the 4200 beads. Toho actually includes that as part of their number. So they have the PF 367 as part of their alternate lookup that you know right away that that, that is a perma finish and it just doesn't have a number associated with it. So I know this can be really confusing when you're thinking, okay, there's item numbers, there's alternate lookup numbers. Do I include the 15 first? Do I make a dash? Some suppliers will use a slash. We always go with the number and then the dash, just like Miyuki or Toho does, and then the color number followed by whatever uh, notification, little letter if it needs something on the end if that's provided for the manufacturer. When you talk about different check finishes, check actually uses the glass number for their alternate lookups. So if you're looking for a check bugle, a check fire polish, a check bead that is going to be um, clear glass 00070, you can look up those alternate lookups and find everything with that glass color number. Different coatings, again, are gonna have different kind of alternate lookups, but it's much easier number system-wise because it's a single manufacturer of the seed beads, whether or not it's Toho or Maiki, versus the check where you have a number of different factories that are producing. So they go with a glass number rather than, a glass color number rather than 
an actual just kind of single number. So really, really spread apart on the check scale, whether or not the names match up with the numbers, but you can always search based on those glass numbers as well. I know this is confusing for a lot of people, especially because a lot of people go into that idea that the Delicas really have their numbers and the seed beads should have the exact same numbers of the Delicas. That's why Miyuki does have that conversion chart if you wanna look that up. And Miyuki's website is really nice as far as um, helpful sheets to do some of those conversions and show what colors they manufacture in what shapes and what sizes. Going in again, remember that there is the item number that we have on our thing. Then you have the color number as well as all of those different kind of names to go along with it. Always look at the color number to make sure that your colors are going to match and that the names aren't different from one supplier to another because that can happen. And sometimes people like to have funky names like Sparkle, Sparkle Blueberry instead of um, Silver Lined Blue. So check out the color numbers, ask the color numbers if you're going into a store, see if they have the color numbers marked. That way also if you want to get them again, you're exactly going to get the same color just like a dye lot. As always with these Better Beater episodes, I'm sure there's gonna to be tons of comments below uh, that you can add in and give little helpful hints and little tips to those watching this video and to becoming a better beater. As always, you can give a little thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get regular updates from us here at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eo. If you find that you need any more sea beads, we'll put links below the video in the description to shop with us online at both of those sites. As always, thanks so much for watching and hopefully this made you a little bit of a better beater.